Welcome to Jones Tabula YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your studies and preparations for your upcoming examination. And today's our lessons is reviewing exam question, past year exam question for 2019 spring part one of two. Without further ado, let's get started. The apparatus shown is set up after 20 minutes a while, ring of ammonium chloride is seen at position Y. Which statement about the molecules of ammonia and hydrogen chloride is correct? The answer for this is a molecule in ammonia has a larger M R than molecules of hydrogen chloride and so they move more quickly. So the answer would be D. A student measure 25 centimeter cube of dilute hydrochloric acid accurately. Which apparatus is more suitable? Burette. Burette is a measurement or measures the volume of dilute hydrochloric acid. Number three, the chromatogram of solutions of two metal ion P and Q is shown. P is colored. A locating agent is used to find the position of Q. The R value of each solution is calculated. P is a transition element and has an R value greater than that of Q which would complete gap 1 and 2. The answer will be C. What is an isotope of 3115E? The answer will be B. Which role describes the formation of single covalent bonds in methane? Atoms share a pair of electrons. Both atoms gain a noble gas electronic structure. Which statement describes the structure of an ionic compound? An ionic compound is a giant structure of iron. The iron has a regular repeating arrangement called an ionic lattice. The lattice is formed because the iron attract each other and form a regular pattern with oppositely charged iron next to each other. The answer will be a. It is a giant lattice of oppositely charged iron. Calcium metal react with water to form a solution of calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Which equation is correct? Sodium calcium will react with liquid water to produce aqua calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Ca in a form of solid mixed with hydrogen to H2O in a form of liquid and to form hydrogen gas, H2 gas and solution of calcium hydroxide, CaOH2. So the answer will be C. When 25 centimeter cube of 0 0.100 mole aqua sodium hydroxide is neutralized by 24.6 centimeter cube of dilute sulfuric acid, what is the concentration of the dilute sulfuric acid? The answer would be when 25 centimeter cube of 0 0.100 mole NaOH solution contain 25 over 1000 multiplied by 0 0.100 is equal to 0 0.025 mole NaOH. And 2 mole of NaOH neutralize 1 mole of H2SO4. Therefore, 0 0.0025 moles of NaOH neutralize is equivalent to 0 0.0025, the answer that you get in the previous 
divided by 2 and then you get the value of 0 0.00125 mole of H2SO4. So the molarity of H2SO4 solution is equivalent to 0 0.00125 divided by 24.6 centimeter cube multiplied by 1000. You get the value of 0 0.0508 mole over decimeter cube. So the answer will be A. The diagram shows the electrolysis of an aqua solution of X using inert electrodes. Hydrogen is produced at the cathode and chlorine is produced at the anode. What is X? Hydrogen would be formed at the cathode. The diagram shows that gases are formed when some concentrated hydrochloric acid is electrolyzed at anode. So the answer will be concentrated hydrochloric acid. Number 10, aluminum is extracted by electrolysis as shown in the diagram. Richard Rowe showed the ionic half equation at the cathode and the anode. So the answer will be C. Fuel cells are used as energy source in car. Which row give a fuel used in a fuel cells and the product form? And if you if you look at this, the answer would be a fuel cells uses the chemical energy of hydrogen or other fuels to cleanly and efficiently produce electricity. And if hydrogen is a fuel, the other products are electricity, water, and heat. So the answer would be hydrogen and water and water. Two elements X and Y react together to form a covalent molecule as shown. The reaction is exothermic. We have X2 in the form of gas. React with Y2 in the form of gas to produce 2XY in the form of gas. So the question is, what is the energy change for the reaction? To get the formula energy change is energy in minus energy out. So from the formula, you get X2. X2 carry the, vo the, the volume of 436 kilojoule per mole. Plus Y2 is equivalent to 242. So when 3, 436 plus 242, you get the value of 678. And energy a, you do not know, which is X, minus energy R will be 2XY. 2XY means that 2 multiplied by 431, you get the value of 862. To get the value of X, you get you have to 678 minus 872, you get the value of X equals to minus 184 kilojoule per mole. So the answer for this question would be Minus 184 kilojoule per mole, which is B. Which a change in reaction condition increases both the collision rate and the proportion of molecule with sufficient energy to react. Increasing the temperature of the reactant increases the frequency of collision between reactant and will therefore increase the reaction rate. So the answer for this will be D, increasing the temperature of the reaction. When blue-green crystal of nickel 2 sulfate are heated, water is produced and a yellow solid remains. When water is added to the yellow solid, the blue-green color return. And which process describes these changes? So the answer for this will be reversible reaction D. The equation for the manufacture of ethanol is shown. What is the effect of doubling the pressure on the reaction? The higher the temperature, the higher the equilibrium yield of ethanol. So the answer will be increases the yield of ethanol. The ionic equation for the reaction of aqua potassium bromide with chlorine gas is shown. Which statement is Correct. Aqua potassium bromide react with chlorine gas to form liquid bromide and aqua potassium chloride. So in this case, bromide ion are oxidized by losing electron. Which type of oxide 
are carbon monoxide and aluminum oxide. So the answer will be carbon monoxide is a neutral situation and aluminum oxide is amphoteric. The position of elements W, X, Y and Z in the periodic table are shown. W represents hydrogen alkaline metal. X is actually radium. is alkaline earth metal. And Y is actually a copper. It's a transition metals. And Z is tensine, which is unknown property. Which elements form basic oxide? So the answer will be A, which is hydrogen, radium, and copper. Which row show the difference between a weak acid and a strong acid? There will be uh, differences. It's measured through partially ionized and fully ionized. That will be another question for periodic table. What do you think about Y, Z, and X? Y is actually francium, alkaline metals. Z is actually hessium which is transitional metal, and X is actually fluorine, reactive non-metal, which will describe the properties of X, Y, and Z. So the answer for this would be C. Good conductor of electricity will be alkaline metal, which is fessium, and Z is hessium, which is transitional metal. And high melting point will be Z. Z is a same transitional metal. With that being said, wish you all the best in your study and upcoming examination. And please subscribe to John Stadilla YouTube channel and follow me at John Stadilla Instagram. And customized notes are available at https beacons.ai slash John Stadilla or other access options to customize note is via Zoom Stadilla Instagram. So that's all for today for this presentation slide and I hope to see you later. Thank you for listening.